It was interesting. I felt like I was in the scene of, uh, of a movie. It looks like a scene out of a movie. This trail runner trying to put out a wildfire with his shoes. Check this out. Our Lions Riffing News Shopper flying ahead this morning spotted this guy while flying over the McDowell fire. Uh, this thing sparked during last night's storms. It grew Heather to more than 200 acres. That's right, and uh, it turns out this guy said he hadn't heard about the fire, Brandon, until he ran into it, literally. Our Kim Powell caught up with him today. No, this isn't an action movie. <laughs> but on top yeah. of professional golfer yeah. and ultra marathon yeah. runner, Trevor Murphy can add rookie firefighter to his resume. I don't know what kicked in. Like, I was just wanted to put it out. Trevor woke up before the sun to hit his usual trail run and two miles in he could see the flames off in the distance and eventually he was right up on it. He felt he had a good opportunity to stop it from jumping the trail. My feet were the most valuable um, really part of my body that I had. Uh, I just basically was scraping um, all the dry brush to get down to the desert so the fire couldn't cross. So I was trying to make it kind of as wide as I could. He says he even called the fire department, who already knew about the fire, which started during Thursday night's monsoon. I had no, no clue at all. Yeah, no clue. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have worn different, different clothes to go fight it, right? Brought a shovel. Or... For two hours, the trail runner stomped on the blaze and tried other tactics to stop it from spreading across the trail. I had my shoes. Um, I used some rocks, which <laughs> looked a little goofy. It's like, just stop burning. And he believes he may have saved at least 100 yards of fire from spreading, though he may need some new running shoes. Yeah, like just stuff started kind of melting off, like the top of this, and then the the soles are kind of burnt through. The bottom bottom of my feet were pretty hot. All in a hard day's work, but don't try this at home or outside. I cinched my hairs, um, uh, my water was warm, I broke my phone, uh, and I got a parking ticket too. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor says it was all worth it. It's a positive thing, right? If we can all do our part and, and help each other, and, and uh, yeah, it's for the greater good. But don't lace up your sneakers just yet. McDowell Mountain Regional Park is temporarily closed while the firefighters put this one out and officials urge everyone to stay off the trails for the time being. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.